All right, hello and welcome to something a little new on this channel. Uh, you'll see here we're off in the archives, um, but we are not here for the below average series. Um, we're gonna try a different type of crossword puzzle and I'm gonna explain how it works. They make like two of these a month it looks like and I'm pretty bad at them, so don't expect much. We'll probably end up cheating. But this is an acrostic type of puzzle. So it looks very overwhelming at first, but I'll explain what's going on. So the contents of this puzzle are going to be a single quote. So this is gonna read like a sentence, like to be or not to be, that is the question, etc. cetera. Um, and the way you solve it, right? Cause like, how could you possibly do it? Is not by finding words that match up here. There's not gonna be a word like down this column that makes sense. These are just gonna look like random letters. Um, the extra information we have comes from down here. So, um, for example, if, you know, these are just normal crossword style clues, um, and if we just choose a, a random one, let, let's just say the answer to this is salad, salads, which is not, we're going to see that those all map to different points in this puzzle. So we can fill out a few of these and, you know, we're going to see some letters appear up here. And then maybe we're like, oh, this is going to be whose, for example, right? Obviously, that's not going to be the case here. But these, once again, are going to map back down to things in these clues, right? So maybe we'll get some more hints, and then we can try to fill out more words and go back and forth and so on. Um, in addition, uh, down here, these also map to random squares in the grid. And this is going to spell out uh, the author and then the name of the work. So, you know, we have, we have a few different angles from which to attack this puzzle, and I'm not very good at it, but I have been practicing a bit, and hopefully I can get some sort of solve going. So, warm wind of the Pacific Northwest. Uh, could it be nor'easter or something? No, no, that's definitely not right. Oh, tab doesn't work here. Item very rarely combined with others on the table. Don't know what that means. Mermen of myth? <laughs> no idea. Hold water, stand up to scrutiny, and sieves can't hold water. Those are like colanders or strainers. So that looks right. And it'll say if there are multiple words. Otherwise, it's just going to be a single word. Line connecting pressure points. Don't know that. Aqueduct, maybe? Infrastructural fluid conduit, aqueduct. Tributary, could be like a stream. It's always dangerous to put things in that you're not super confident on because it's really hard to map back. <laughs> like, it's hard to tell where those stream letters went. You can do something like this, where you click on this to lock that in place and then you observe where everything went, but it can mess with your, your mind a bit. Uh, something harp, musical instrument played by the wind. Don't know. Arabian oryx, okay. Something era, period of decline? Could be. Signal to get a drink. Something you might do at a bar, maybe. Left on a plane or skipped work. Flew out, maybe? That only works for left on a plane, though. Um, Rio de Janeiro and Tokyo, approximately. I wonder if they're opposite, like poles, like polar something, like they're like if you dr drilled a hole through the earth, um, you know, Tokyo and Rio de Janeiro would be opposite. Cartographic detail, maybe like a border. Cartographic means dealing with maps. Having only one leg. <laughs> Don't know. Over what run swamped? No.
analytical gardeners on a slant or abdominal muscle. I think that would be the oblique muscles. And Arizona City, don't know. Okay, but we have a lot of letters up here now. So for example, often these quotes will have repeated words in them. And I, I just noticed that there are cues here. So I wonder if this would also be like you are um, and then this could be a T as well. Could be, I mean, bit out on a limb. Three letters, this could be like and, or and, let's just put the N in for now. Um, this could be, I don't think this could be, oh, oh, it could be at or an. Exercise for analytical gardeners. I don't know what that can mean. The deepest depth. Low point or something. Okay. Radar is used to track storms, is it not? It's not really a device, it's more of a technology. Although the letters do look okay. It could be like squatter or something. Could this be A? Tributary doesn't need to be stream, that's right. Yeah, what, what if this was ER? What if stream was wrong? And then this was ER, and this was an A. I, I think this would have to be squatter. And this would have to be N. Desert home to the Arabian Oryx. What desert starts with an N? This might mean be the H E. Not super helpful. Helpful. Okay. Let's go down. See if. Anything pops out at me. Took off, left on a plane, skipped work. You could take off work. Okay, took off. Where did that end up in the grid? Um, oh there, oh there, K here. This must be O or I of the, or if the, yeah, either one really. This could end with D having only one leg, something D. At war, I was wonder if signal to get a drink could be actually thirst or something. If you're thirsty, that's your body's signal to get a drink. Let's see where that all landed up. T there seems okay. H there seems good. R indifferent, S there looks good. I think thirst might be right. And then I think this would have to be air. Um, app, 
composite a I could imagine this starting with a and this would have to be then n I think and air um, okay Water, and then let's look down here. Anything? No, nothing. Nothing looks particularly promising there. Cartographic detail. Mm. This might be an S. Combined with others on the table. Yeah, I don't <laughs> I don't know what that's talking about, <laughs> to be to be quite honest. Okay, this must well, it could be end. And it, this isn't gonna help me even if I put something in here. And or end. Mermen of myth, myth. You'd think that would end with S. Ending with I is weird, but oblique is I'm pretty confident on. Okay. In air, that's not how you spell squatter. <laughs> um, which of these could be wrong? Okay, well, I'm just going to check the puzzle real quick. Um, we're definitely going to need to cheat to solve this. I'm getting better as time goes on, but um, not that much better. Okay. Equator, probably. Okay, let's see what that does for, for me. Inset on a map. Where does that end up? Probably two here. Inset on a map, okay. Seems okay. Mono something. Monopod. Pod means leg. Um at air. Yeah, because it was, N was wrong there, so it must be T. Pratus, Pratus, <laughs> Apogees maybe? Apple? No, not even close to fitting. This got to be of the. Well, it could be if that, but of the. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't see anything in the title there. Aqueduct, I guess. Where'd that I end up? Here. Uh. <laughs> well, okay, that probably lines up with this. Are they the same? I think this one has one fewer letters. Five, six, yeah. So probably not the same word. I'm going to cite for a canal. It must be the equator. And then this should probably be the also, because it's right before equator. The equator. And maybe an S here. Maybe something test, like a soil test. I'm gonna, <laughs> my main goal is to be able to get through this without um, revealing anything. Um, but I'll probably check the puzzle a few times. But soil test seemed good there. And where did that end up going? OK, S here. As air, oh, OK, sure. I. Oh, and yeah, words can wrap around like this. So this word is not just T, it's T something something. Honestly, probably the. I'm not going to put it in quite yet, but I'm still just looking through soil test. Um, yeah. And banks, maybe? Okay, well, let's look through again. None of these look very gettable, but I will invest in another check puzzle real quick. Ooh, <laughs> uh, monopod was wrong. Yeah, believe it or not, that was not a real word. Um, aqueduct and aqueduct are both wrong. Aqueduct? I'm just, I'm just gonna check. Aqueduct, that's how you spell it, apparently. Sorry for my inability to spell. As air makes find the equator, it probably it something and sinks around no. This might be like a rash with or a wash with. The maybe again. Okay, yeah, where did a wash end up? It. Something story maybe? Could be like Yucca, Arizona. Not that I'm familiar with that. Eh, C there looks pretty bad, so I'm just gonna take that out. Something story though. It rises and sinks, maybe? And sinks. OK. 
Okay. The deepest depth. Merman of myth. Feeder of the North Sea. Maybe the Rhone River? Where did that end up? Maybe this is four. Something ER maybe. This could be below the equator. Ebb time, maybe period of decline. Uh, where, did, where did that go? <laughs> Ebb time. And this would be May. Although, AO starting word is a little rare. Okay, as air, something the equator, it rises and sinks. The something melts the and below the equator. I, a four, two of the Tropic, subtropics, the subtropics, subtropics, there we go. Um, the Ty Tiber River, I believe is a river. Um, and then, okay, where was I? The subtropics, this could be subtropics again, sub, Tropics is maybe and end below the equator a four to subtropics. Okay, as air teams. from the equator, maybe, maybe Yuma, from the equator, it rises and sinks. Low, maybe to the, no, at the subtropics. It slows at the subtropics. Slows at the subtropics. It melts something the again, maybe. The W here looks pretty bad. It's, yeah, it doesn't need to be slows, I guess. S seems good here, though. It pelts the sub, the, and, okay, let's look down here again. Oh, what is this H? That looks kind of bad. Mm, could be right though. Antipoles. It's 
let's take a look at where that all ended up. N here, T here, I there, the above. L there, S there, okay. Having only one leg, non-stop, like a flight, only has one leg. Okay, yeah, where did, where did N and S end up? S, yeah, okay. Earths, maybe? It's probably Tritons. It's one above, maybe? Tritons. Earths. Okay, as air something from the equator, it rises and sinks. Blows at the subtropic, doesn't need to be. At the subtropics in something. So one above and one below. The equator a four to okay let's do above here one above and one below the equator I think of the subtropics as Think of the subtropics as Earth's something. Okay. Something rain and story. Okay. Connecting pressure points, isobar. Um, that's a line of pressure that is the same all the way through, I believe. Oh, but then it, it, it could just be isobar, but I think it's isobar. All right, I think it's time for a check puzzle. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was so confident on some of this stuff. Um, okay, well. Good to know now rather than later. The Rhine, probably. And then Isobar. Yeah, okay. Well. <laughs> Ebb tide. Probably day. This has got to be around. Probably the, where did I put that H? <laughs> I typed in H, but I don't know where it went. Oh, whatever. Uh, the, around the globe. I 
Okay, as air is something from the equator, it's something in sinks. Day isthmus. <laughs> isthmus might be a place for a canal. Isthmus. This I like to think to think of the subtropics as Mother Earth's something. Okay, that seems right. This would be a big win if I could not reveal anything. I've never um, done that before. This has got to be day. Pans, rans, sands. As air. Something bottom, right? Okay, let's find that in here. That looks off, but um, okay, that M as air makes something maybe. Okay, bottom rock bottom dry bands probably rock bottom okay here bikini okay something history rain a history something rain a history okay Dry noble gases are rarely combined because they don't react with anything. It okay. Rain a history. Nathaniel Arnett. Oh, that doesn't work. Yeah. Two belts. Heat wave. Okay, two belts, one above and one below the equator in two belts, dry bands around the globe at the subtropics in two belts, one above and one below the equator. Okay. Creates, creating, okay. As makes as air makes something from the equator doesn't need to be makes moves away from the equator. It pools and sinks, creating dry bands around the globe at the subtropic, and the subtropic is in two belts. Or it lulls, or it cools and sinks. Awesome. <laughs> hey, um, let's review the puzzle. Um, as air moves away from the equator, it cools and sinks, creating dry bands around the globe at the subtropics in two belts, one above and one below the equator. 
Cynthia Barnett, Rain A History. Well, that was interesting. That's the first time I've solved one of these without revealing um, anything, although obviously I checked the puzzle a ton of times, but we're getting there. We're making progress towards uh, solving one of these unaided. Um, there's some pretty nasty words in here, like yerks, aeolian, negative, Not familiar with Yuma, really, um, but, you know, overall, it was enjoyable. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of something new.